There are three ways to connect to the controller, via USB, via Ethernet, or connecting to a virtual controller. This video introduces the purpose and procedure for each connection method in turn. First, we will show you how to connect a PC and the controller via USB. If you have a USB cable and want to connect to the controller immediately, use this method. Connect the PC and the controller with a USB cable. Turn on the controller. Display the Epson RC Plus 8.0 main screen. Click Set up PC to Robot Controller Communications on the toolbar. Select the USB row from the list. Click Connect. Click Close. The connection field in the toolbar changes to USB. Next, we will show you how to connect a PC to the controller via Ethernet. Use this method when the controller is connected to a network or when you want to switch between multiple controllers. Connect the PC and the controller with an Ethernet cable. Start Epson RC Plus and click Set up PC to Robot Controller Communications on the toolbar. You need to newly add the controller to be connected via Ethernet. Click Add. Select Connection to Real Controller via Ethernet. Under Controller Series, select the Target Controller Series. Click OK. Enter the IP address assigned to the controller in the IP address field. The IP addresses of the PC and the controller must be of the same type. Click Apply to apply the changes. Make sure the newly added Ethernet connection is selected and click Connect. Click Close. The connection field in the toolbar changes to a name of Ethernet connection. Finally, we will show you how to connect your PC to a virtual controller. Use this method when the target controller is not nearby or when you cannot stop the controller on site. Click Setup PC to Robot Controller Communications on the toolbar. Here we will create a new virtual controller. Click Add. Click Connection to New Virtual Controller. Under Controller Series, select the Target Controller Series. Click OK. The virtual connection is newly added. Click Apply to apply the changes. Make sure the newly added virtual connection is selected and click Connect. Click Close. The connection field in the toolbar changes to a name of virtual connection.